Mr. President, I rise uh, this morning to speak on S. 1831, the Preventing Animal Cruelty and Torture Act. It's known by its acronym PACT. Uh, this is a bipartisan bill. I want to thank my colleague, Senator Blumenthal, for co-authoring this and the 33 co-sponsors I have. This is a common sense bill, Mr. President. It would be the first federal law to protect all animals from torture, maiming, and abuse. The PACT Act allows federal law enforcement to intervene when this kind of abuse occurs where federal the federal government has jurisdiction. So federal property, U.S. territories, and in relation to interstate commerce. The act specifically bans the most appalling forms of animal abuse. It's often known as crushing. This is when a deranged individual actually tortures and sometimes sexually assaults uh, household pets for some perverse enjoyment that they get. And uh, there are people who are in the business of soliciting animals over the internet so that they can conduct this appalling activity and then sell the images. It's unbelievable, but it happens. And Mr. President, it's not controversial. Stopping this kind of obscene animal abuse is not controversial at all. There are no Republicans objecting to this legislation. The next Democratic leader uh, on the other side is a co-sponsor. Senator Schumer is a co-sponsor of this legislation. There are 27 Democratic co-sponsors. Over half of the Democratic caucus are co-sponsors of this legislation. A majority of House members have co-sponsored companion legislation. We worked with all the relevant committees to make sure all concerns were addressed. It has been endorsed by every major animal welfare organization in America, the Humane Society, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, Animal Welfare Institute. We worked with agricultural and sporting groups. There is no organized opposition to this at all. And Mr. President, it's necessary because there are many hundreds, perhaps thousands of cases of this kind of horrific abuse of animals occurring every year. We've seen appalling cases, I will submit to the record, examples that are too appalling to discuss. Frankly, it's just that bad, but I will submit that to the record. And uh, we need to bring this to an end. Uh, it's also important for me to point out briefly that academic research has found a very strong correlation between people who abuse animals and then subsequently commit violent crimes against human beings. Uh, this has been uh, documented by the National Institute of Mental Health. They say that a history of sexually assaulting animals is the single largest risk factor and strongest predictor of increased risk of committing child sexual abuse. A 2013 Northeastern University study found that half of all school shooters had harmed animals before they harmed animals. So Mr. President, it's very clear if we can stop people from this kind of appalling abuse of animals, we will also be protecting human beings. That's why law enforcement organizations enforce my legislation as well. The PACT Act is endorsed by the National Sheriff's Association, the Fraternal Order of Police, the Association of Prosecuting Attorneys, nearly 200 local law enforcement agencies. So as I say, Mr. President, this is a very simple issue. This is not confusing, it is not complicated, and it is not controversial. Uh, animals are not adequately protected across America. Many, many of our constituents feel very, very strongly and passionately about this, as well they should, and passage of this legislation will help to protect people as well as animals. So Congress should act on this, and therefore I ask unanimous consent that the Committee on the Judiciary be discharged from further consideration of S-1831 and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. Further, that the Toomey Substitute Amendment be agreed to, the bill as amended be considered read a third time and passed, and that the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table. Is there